I've seen it all in my time. Drama, passion, betrayal, backstabbing, jealousy and heartbreak. I've been there. I've been singing in amateur opera companies since I was 15 years old. It's always seemed to me that the world of amateur opera would be a fascinating setting for a novel. Ordinary people take part in amateur opera because they're passionate about a form of music which is drenched in heightened drama anyway. Feelings can run very high. It's a bubble. When you're doing a show, nothing in life is more important in those few short weeks. In the Doric Opera books, I wanted to show how a church hall full of normal adults can lose perspective and get drawn into some pretty extreme behaviour. Even risking their marriages and careers, it happens. I started writing when I was about 12 or 13 and I used an ancient mechanical typewriter because it made me feel like a real writer but it was missing its M key. So I've got boxes of half-completed manuscripts with where I've gone through and I've written in the M in pen lovingly. And at one point I started a story with a hero called Max. Come to think of it, the heroine of the Doric Opera series is called Melissa. So, you know, maybe the, the M is there somewhere at the back of my mind. I also write science fiction and historical romance under a different author name. Contemporary fiction was an interesting new direction for me. I didn't intend it originally to be a trilogy, it was just going to be a standalone book, but when I started writing I found I had too much material. Whatever genre of fiction I'm writing, I tend to set my books in Scotland, except the ones that are set in space, of course. I'm not really about the Scottish landscape, I'm not a Glens and Heathers type of writer. I get more excited about the castle in the landscape than the landscape itself. I really prefer an urban location. What I like is the culture and the history. The books are set in Inverdoon, which is a fictional city in the northwest of Scotland, the far northwest. I wanted a feeling of it being the last outpost of civilization. I created a fictional city because I wanted somewhere that I could control. Sometime next year there will be a third book to conclude the trilogy. Tosca or Die. The inspiration. Obviously it's based on my years in amateur opera, but I can't possibly talk about specific events that might have inspired things in the books to protect the innocent and the guilty. <laughs>